Hello everyone, welcome back to the series of tutorials on Python programming. We discussed list in previous tutorial, but uh, that is still incomplete because it's a huge topic and there are multiple things we need to cover here. So now I am proceeding further and we'll discuss few more things. So if you remember from past tutorial, we have discussed a function that is called append function and it is used to add elements at the end of a list so suppose you have this subjects as a list and you want to append few more subjects so we have done that already but i will still add one more subject here and that is php so now we have seven subjects here you can also pop some subjects pop means remove some subjects and here is an optional argument which is index of the element but if you are not providing any index here it will remove the last element and you can check it here right or you can provide some index at this point so if you want to remove this C from here, you have to provide this index 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So I want to remove this fourth element and that is C. Now if you want to check the list again, here is the list. Right. Similar to pop, you have one function for inserting element and you have to provide index in that element and then element itself so I want to add C again so 0 1 2 3 and this is fourth index so I will write 4 here and C so let us check it again and C is back now you have a function for removing elements and that is called remove in this case you have to pass the value and here we have value c so it will remove c from here and if there are duplicate values of that particular element the first then first element will be removed check it again right so do one thing append some elements here maybe i am appending one then append some more values like 2 then append 1 again check subjects and now we have 1 2 1 right now again try using that remove function and remove 1 you will see that this one is removed because this is the first element which is coming in list right now if you try that again you will find out that the last one is removed right now you can either do this thing or you can just use pop minus one or just pop in this case last element will be removed so we were talking about inserting elements before this so let's go back there so I am inserting C at fourth place check the list again so one thing that I want to ask you I am inserting something at this index length of subjects and the element is PHP and another statement that I want to write is subjects.append PHP so can you tell the similarities between them do you think these two functions are similar or equivalent at this point of time so if your answer is yes then you are correct 
because it is inserting element at the end of the list and append is also doing the same thing right so i will show you example here you can see php is inserted at the end now try to append some another language and you can see it is appended at the end clear there are some other functions like deleting some elements you can either remove one element so if i want to remove last element i can use like this so check the subjects and now dust is removed and you can also remove the complete list so i am not removing this list or deleting this list but i am creating one more list i can name it temporary list so there are some function like temp dot clear this will remove all the elements now you can see temp is empty try to fill this list again now temp is filled again and what you can do you can delete using del and then use temp and you can use this slicing operator and then check the temp again this is again blank or you can do one more thing del and just write temp without using slicing here and now check temp again so in this case it has deleted the whole list temp but uh, in previous one this one it has just deleted the elements right so in this in this case list is still existing but that is empty but when you are doing del temp this is removing whole list clear few other things we have subjects as a list now if you want to count something you can use count function and check the count c is coming one time so this is giving us one or you can again use this temp function now you can see we have one multiple time so i will use count function and see that one is coming three times there is one more function in the list and that is called extend function what i will do i have list one and list two so there are concatenation operator you can concatenate these two list and there will be a new list you can also concatenate these and assign it to third list or what you can do you can append all the items from list 2 to list 1 so how you are going to do that for item in list 2 list 1 dot append item right so in this way you will be creating or appending all the items from list 2 to list 1 so if you check list 1 now here is the new list right so either you can concatenate like this or you can append like this clear so there are some more ways and that is done by extend function so what can you do list 1 dot extend and then list 2 like this or let me do one thing let me make the list 1 this again because list 1 is changed so now this is list 1 and list 2 is similar what was before so now i will use this extend function and pass list 2 inside this now check list 1 again and you can see list 1 has been extended right so extend function is used to add one list to another list and this is similar to 
this thing list one and then use length of list one here colon and leave it and then add list two right so i will make list one same as it was before so list one and list two is similar what was before now try appending one list to another list and check list one and here you can see right now two lists are appended so we have learned multiple ways of appending or concatenating two list there are some more functions like sorting list so we have list one which is not sorted at this moment so i will take list three and put some random numbers here so these are not sorted right you can see it again so we have some function like list three dot sort by default uh, it will sort in increasing order so you can check list three and now it is sorted it sorts in place and don't take any extra space right and there is another function to reverse sort the list and that is called reverse function now check the list 3 again and this is reverse sorted clear there is one more thing that i want to discuss it is nesting of list so it means we are putting one list inside another list right so let us suppose we have a list a and we have some elements here a b and c then we have another list and that has three numbers one two three create one more list and put a and n inside that so what should be x according to you try to guess it before uh, i tell you the answer so you can just pause the video and uh, write your answer and then match with it so here you go we are nesting the list here so this list is x but inside this it is a and then it is n so how can you access the element here so if i do x 0 that means we are pointing at this list if i make it x1 that means we are pointing at this list so if you want this value 3 so you have to do x1 because this is the first list and then after that 0 1 and 2 so put 2 here now you will get the 3 clear so this is how you can append multiple elements clear so here is some homework or assignment for you the first program is you have to make a program that checks whether a number is prime or not and second program is you have to print all fibonacci numbers less than n where n is taken as input from the user right so i think this is enough for this lecture in the next lecture we will cover some more concepts so see you in the next video till then thank you so much